Okay, this is part two. For some reason, my recording stopped, so I'm just going to pick up here. We'll do this in two parts. So if I'm going to name a right angle, and I've already told you that this right here shows us that this at vertex U, this is a right angle. I can call this angle U, or I can call this angle T U W. And so I'm going to call it angle T U W this time. Okay? Remember the vertex, the letter where the vertex is has to come in the middle. Okay? On your own, draw and label an example of the figure. So I hope it, at this point you will stop your video and that you will try some of these on your own and then make sure you do them in pencil so you can go back and change them if they're incorrect. Then start the video back up again and try and check your work. Draw and label an example of the figure. This is a ray, I'm sorry, yes, ray PQ. So a ray has an endpoint and then it goes on. Okay, so I have a point here that I'm going to call P, P, and then one that I'm going to call Q. So that would show, that would be a ray, that would be ray P, Q. All right, next we're supposed to draw an acute angle, R, S, T. So remember, acute means smaller than 90 degrees, so these are going to be closer in. I'm going to go this way and then straight across to make sure that my angle here is not straight up and down, that I don't have a right angle, that it's smaller. So I'm going to label this R. This right here is your vertex, so it has to be the letter S. And then there is T. Number nine, a straight arrow W, X, Z. So a straight angle is, I think I might have said a straight arrow, a straight angle, sorry, is just a straight line going in either direction and it has three points on it. W, X as close as we can get to the center, and then Z. And that is what a straight angle looks like. All right, so down here we're going to use figure F, all of this, and we're going to do several different things. It's asking us for several different pieces of information. Name a ray. Okay, so I could do ray AB or ray BA, BK, BJ or JB or KB. <laughs> Well, yes, I could do RP or RQ or RC. I think I'm going to do um, Ray BK. So I'm going to draw my line with my arrow on it, and I'm going to say BK. I could also do BC. That would be a ray. Number 11, name an obtuse angle. Now we need one that opens up wide. So I'm gonna choose this one here because I can tell that it is a really wide angle. It's not a right angle. This right here is a right angle. So I'm gonna call this angle ABK. I could call it angle B because that's the vertex. I could have also used um, JBR as an angle. That would be an obtuse angle as well. Number 12, name a line, okay? Well, one of the lines that I see immediately is line AC because it has an arrow on this end and an arrow on this end. So I'm gonna do line AC. I could also do JK, and I could do PQ. All right, name a line segment. So there are, again, a lot of these. This could be AB or BA, JB or BJ, BK or KB, PR, RP, 
RQ, QR, RC, CR. So I'm going to do this one here. Line segment BR. So I'm just going to draw a line and then I'm going to write a capital B and a capital R over it. Underneath it, sorry. Name a right angle. Well, the only right angle that we see is shown here and it is angle PRC. And of course you could have said CRP, but as long as your R is in the center of the name or angle R, but it has to be the vertex. Name an acute angle. Okay, so I see immediately that this angle right here, this one is a really easy one for me to spot. This angle here is smaller than 90 degrees. It's smaller than a right angle, and so is this one. So I could do angle ABJ or angle KBR. And I think I'm going to do angle KBR. And in this case, I could not say, um, well, angle R wouldn't be one anyway, um, either way, so that's okay. So angle KBR.